Oh man, season two just came out. I can't wait to see what they added to zombies. Oh. Yeah, so they didn't add anything to zombies, but for some reason they added zombies in multiplayer, so... Uh, I guess that's what we got. I can't breathe. I don't know what just happened, but I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, look at that. I were, there's zombies. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I sure wish they were <laughs> in the actual zombies mode. No, that, that would be crazy. Oh man, look at this. There's a bunch of orbs and zombies respawning. I wonder if there was some sort of game mode that they had sometime in the past three years that looked just like this, that added a significant amount of content to a game that didn't have much con- Mmm, I wonder. <laughs> no, actually though, like, if they're gonna do this, like, if they've programmed zombies to spawn in on every multiplayer map, why don't they just add, uh, what was it called from Cold War? Damn it, I missed my revolver! <laughs> what kind of line is that? <laughs> Oh my god, what is this gun? Hold on. Whoa, look at that. It's like a laser gun. I don't even know why I'm surprised every gun in this video game is a laser gun. So, like, there's this orb here, and zombies, like, spawn out of it. And it's just like, okay. So, like, let me let me do a funky, funky little round based on this stupid-ass tiny map. I mean, okay, this map is a little small. This is, like, the smallest map I've ever seen. So maybe this isn't the best example, but some of the bigger maps, like, just, like, stick some perk machines, a couple wall buys, a mystery box, and, like, call in a pack-a-punch and call it a day. I really think that the expectations from, like, the community are so low that if they just did that, if they just did, like, like, <laughs> you know, like, bare minimum, like, custom zombies map kind of effort, like, it would go over pretty well for them, I think. Yeah, so in this, you can, like, pick up, like, pack-a-punch guns. I have no idea if... I think they're better on zombies. I don't know if they're, like, better on people. You can pick up, like, power-ups and shit, too. Like, I've got insta-kill right now. Like, <laughs> I have insta-kill in multiplayer. Like, what? I played a match of this earlier today, actually. There was this guy who was in the match. He was so desperate for, like, zombies. He was... he was, We were playing on, on a Afghan. And he was sitting there in the middle of the map, legitimately training the zombies. Like, he was legitimately trying to play, like, like round-based. Uh, he typed in chat. He was like, hey, everybody, please don't kill my zombies. I'm trying to train you. <laughs> it was the funny... I should have recorded it. It was so funny. And also, yeah, they did add Rick Grimes, which... I, I talked about it in the other video, like, yeah, that, that, this is, this is my, this is my shit, as I might say, you know? I got this blueprint from last season, it, like, uh, as you shoot, it, like, gets more red. It's pretty cool. Ooh, pack a punch! I mean, if you want, you can kind of just, like, sit here and kill zombies, you know? You don't really actually have to, like, fight the other guys, you can just sit, you get XP for it. Farm some- I don't think it does anything for you. The mere concept that you can sit there and farm zombies in multiplayer is funny to me, so... God, I cannot aim. See that? <laughs> that is why I am a zombies guy and not a multiplayer guy right there. Alright, can I hit a snipe? What do we think? This is- I'm using a pistol, but you know, what, what do we- what do we think? Got it. God, oh my, oh my god, I'm so good. That was two kills, that's like, average performance. Oh, I thought I was good. Did you just EMP? What? You know, with them adding the EMP to this game, it made me think. There might come a point in time where they get so, like, you know, just, like, distraught for ideas that they might add back. Uh, this is a sledgehammer game as well. That's how I, I'm, that's why, like, my fears are, like, kind of important. They might add back the, the, um, what, it, what was it called? It was called, like, EMZ or something. They were the, the zombies in advanced warfare that would hit you and then disable your exosuit. I could totally see them, like, adding back EMZs just to, like, just to be dickheads. Ooh, this guy is Interstellar. I think Interstellar is pretty cool, honestly. I would say I still prefer Borealis. I don't know, I just think... Yeah, fuck, shit. <laughs> I would say I, I still prefer Borealis. I don't know, I just think something about it just looks, like, amazing. I think Zombies usually gets the better camos, to be honest, so... Ooh. Insta-kill. Onslaught, that's what it was called. It was called Onslaught. 
that's the mode that this orb was from and it would be on the map and you would just like follow around the orb and it would like just spawn in waves of zombies and you would just sit there and kill them and all the zombies would just like drop they would drop perks they would drop pack a punch they would drop uh ether tools to upgrade your gun color so like they could totally like they already have the systems in place for zombies to drop those things like they could just stick that on there and call it a day they don't even have to add the wall weapons, the perk machine, all that stuff, because apparently that's too difficult to do. They could really legitimately just bring back Onslaught, and I, I, that would hold me over, personally. Like, I would be fine with that. You guys got gold already on this gun? This gun came out today. How did you get gold on it already? <laughs> you know, I don't think I ever made a video on it, but they did. This mode is from um, Call of Duty World War II. It was an event that they did for quite a while where they would like spawn in zombies and so I thought it was pretty cool. They added like tons of like really cool cosmetics, like zombie themed cosmetics with it. I doubt you can still play it. I'm sure it's like locked away forever now, but see this gun here, I think I mentioned it, you know, like a video or two ago, but like I really don't like it being in the game because they added it you know at the end of vanguard and i'm pretty sure that they just like ripped it straight from vanguard honestly for this game and most of the guns in this game are just ripped straight from like modern warfare 2019 at least 50 percent of the guns in this game have to be like this game is in modern warfare 3 have to be like just the guns from 2019 that didn't make it into modern warfare 2. you know really all i have done in this video was just complain and I complained in the last video too. Maybe I should stop doing that. That's just like my jam, you know. <laughs> I just wanna I just wanna sit here and kill the zombies. I know I keep saying it. I really, really hope that they add onslaught. Like it is it's such a low effort mode, because they've already developed like the infrastructure that would support at least like 70% of the game mode. Like season three, totally add onslaught. Go for it. I think it would add so much more replayability to to this game but it is call of duty so you know they they probably won't is this skin a skeleton with hair that that is a first i gotta say i i in my 20 years of life i don't think i've ever seen a skeleton that has hair what i do want though is over here there is a a finishing move it's a zombie dog i could dude i want a zombie dog you know what would be even cooler a hellhound but uh no of course not because the hellhound you see you see this is this is like this is like call of duty 101 the hellhound the hellhound finishing move comes in a 20 dollars store bundle right i'm gonna try this m14 i'm probably gonna suck with it but that's okay i'm not a multiplayer channel i say as i'm holding a, a gun with orion on it oh i have problems which I know I don't usually talk about like multiplayer changes. Like I, I obviously do play, you know, multiplayer Call of Duty, right? I've got this stupid ass camo. I think it was a good change. I actually think so. I think uh, this game has a horrible campaign. It is god awful. I mean, the worst pretty much ever. Uh, probably even worse than Ghosts, I'm going to be honest. Like Ghosts was horrible, but at least it was entertaining. <laughs> it was like, you know, laughably bad. This is just bad. I actually thought that the multiplayer in this game was really, really good. And I think is probably one of the best Call of Duty multiplayers we've seen in, like, ever. I would still pick uh, Cold War over this. Did he just get a wall bang? Or am I tripping? I swear I just watched the hit marker go red on the wall. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> he looks so uncomfortable. If you don't have any guns equipped and he's just standing there like that. <laughs> he looks so awkward. Why is he standing like that? <laughs> anyway, yeah, the new multiplayer mode, Horde Point, it's it's pretty good. Uh, if I'm going to play multiplayer, I'm probably going to play Horde Point. So overall, you know, I give it like a like a solid seven out of ten. You know, it's cool, but like stick an abominate, stick a mega abomination in there. That's what I want to see. Stick one of those big ass mega abominations in like the middle of like shipment or something. That's <laughs> that's something I want to see.